What's up guys, it's Mike here with Growing Doors 365. So I'm squatting here to give you a nice angle of what I'm looking at here. And I'm just wearing these glasses for no apparent reason, but I really like them. So that's all that really matters. But if you're new here, my name is Mike. I run this channel here, Growing Doors 365. I'm here to teach you how to grow indoors and get motivated and show you everything that you need to maintain and sustain and grow like mine. So check it out. Um, Right here, we're gonna take a closer look at this tent. We're gonna take a closer look at my other tent. But I really wanted to show you guys what's going on right here. Yep, so I made the transition of all of the tomato plants into this Mars Hydro. Also, I did go ahead and purchase a brand new T5 double bulb 6400K Agro Bright Fluorescent Grow Light. It's doing pretty good. I'm not sure if I'm loving it though. I might have to upgrade it. I might have to actually return this one and upgrade it to the to the four bulb. I don't think the two bulb is doing enough. I'm gonna call it damage. Uh, it's 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 just not doing enough. I feel like to really get things moving in. I'm having some issues here. I got some leaves being kind of wilted. I don't really know what is happening here, and. I think there's definitely significant development from, for example, a week ago. I just really can't tell. A lot of times there's also a lot of frost that's happening here because in my basement it's a lot cooler. Um, I'm not sure. If you're a tomato indoor gardener and you can help me to, I don't know, just I don't know what I need here. I think this is too much plant for the space, honestly. I think there's just too much going on. I think there's a fair amount of condensation there. There's no issues in relation to that. Overall, the leaves look beautiful. The stems look wonderful. Everything is looking good, but I think I'm gonna outgrow this tent in no time. I think six plants is just way too many. What do you guys think? Can I take one or two of these right now as the weather gets nicer outside and put them directly into the soil? I mean. I'll take them right out of the net cup, or honestly, I'll take them with the net cup and put them right into the soil, directly into the soil. You know, I've watched a number of videos in relation to tomatoes and whatnot, and or just, I, I think it's right now, actually, what is it, no, nah, it's like 15th or 16th today. I think I might have to wait another 15 to 20 days before I bring them outside, where around, I'm, I'm located in New Jersey. And I think right around that time is where the temperatures won't be falling to a certain degree to allow frost and so forth. And I think they'll thrive if I bring them outside in the next 15 to 20 days. And maybe I'll, I don't know. I don't even know how to bring this outside for some wind to hit it. But listen, I know I got some guys on uh, that are fans that are watching the videos uh, that grow tomatoes pretty well. So take a look at my setup. We'll take a closer look in just a second. And give me some pointers down below in the comments. Let me know what you think I should do. Is this too many plants? Is this enough light? Should I take some of these or all of them outside? I think I have to at least see the outcome of one or two plants indoor hydroponically and see what they develop, what kind of fruit that they develop. So anyway, let's take a, uh, let's take a closer look into this tent and then I'll show you guys what I got in the mother tent. All right, come along. All right, my friends, as you're looking here, I got some beauties. Oh, look how beautiful they are. Look at the stem here. There we go. Nice little close-up right there. Look at this wonderful stem. Look at this beast right here. Huge stem. Gorgeous hairs. <laughs> These things look like marijuana plants almost. It's actually hilarious. Oh, they smell wonderful. I mean, look at this. Uh, just look at this shot from above absolutely gorgeous they really are they look gorgeous they smell gorgeous everything looks really good with this I mean just look at those hairs it's unbelievable I wondered if you have if you have personally grown hydroponic tomatoes please comment down below let me know what's the usual time frame for fruiting okay because I don't know by the way this is the light that I purchased right here the agro bright it's a two bulb 64k uh, it looks like a daylight it's not it's not bad I actually really like the light the quality build is real nice um, but I think I just need I might have to just return it it's being suspended right there on these nice suspenders I could just bring them down it's pretty cool I could like bring this down closer higher 
It's a nice little system that I got set up here, but check this out. What's up with that? And I think this is from frost because when I came in here just a few days ago, you see how the leaf gets right here? This It gets like a little, I, I don't even know what to call it, but as you can see there, it's like a little more wet. And look, look, look. Actually, you could see right there. Look at the differentiation. That is from the leaf, and that is actually, you could feel the condensation there. So you see that? That's from the leaves. Just, it's being, you know, there's not a lot of room in here. And I think there's the leaves and everything just getting way too big. I mean, overall, the root systems are okay. I mean, they're still nice and white. It's just that uh, I put some nutrients in, and that's why they get a little more discolored over time as you start putting in a bit of a heavier nutrient. I might actually, maybe they're nutrient deprived, I don't know, I might have to start, the last time I fed these things was like a week ago with some um, Botanicare Grow, so I'm not sure, I mean take a look at how beautiful that stem looks. Overall, oh man, I totally forgot, look at the, look at the little basil down there, let's take a closer up, let's take a little zoom action on that basil. Alright, that's all at once right there. That thing is looking great. I totally forgot that was down there. <laughs> That's hilarious, but these things smell absolutely awesome. Mmm. I love the smell of these leaves. Really cool. I mean, look how huge this is. I mean, I wish I was just already... Oh, no. I got a man down. This thing broke. So, you know what? Unfortunately, I'm just going to take it out. I mean, look how beautiful this was. And I got to throw that out. That sucks. But that's another, that's another thing about their room factor I mean there's just not enough room I think I overdid myself by doing six plants in here for sure so let me know in the comment guys what you think about having six right here in indoors I think it, I, I'm now thinking it's a little too much okay also let me just give you a um, this is what the uh, Mars Hydro tent looks like right now I got those plants right here and uh, that's what I'm rocking with that light I went ahead and got an individual uh, pump just for this tent and I actually bought a whole brand new um, eight point surge protector with the timer I'm not using that yet this is my older one right here but I also had a single so I'm actually running this I forgot I'm running it like from 6 a.m. to like 12 p.m. noon and then it shuts off for like three hours and then it starts back up and then it turns off at like I think 10 p.m. So it's a fairly good cycle, but overall the tomatoes are doing well. I mean, I mean, there's no, there's no vegetation yet, uh, but overall, I mean, they look huge. They look great. Anyway, let's take a look at this tent right here. I've been keeping it a little more open due to the fact, man, got these spiders in here. Look at this thing. Look at this little nut bag. What are you doing down there, punk? Huh? What are you doing down there? I'm going to squash you in a second. I'm going to leave him for now. This way there's no witnesses. Anyway guys, this is what I got going on up here. There's always a spider down there, by the way. It's, I have no idea, but I mean, how can you... Look, it's an open space like this with a concrete floor on a, on a slab in my basement. I mean and this time of year it's a little warmer there's going to be spiders I'm just I'm just glad they're just down there and not anywhere else so this is really what's going on it's, oh no oh no oh what happened oh my god no 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 guys I am so mad I just noticed this I am so angry this was so promising I have no idea what happened this I guess I do know I have I do have an idea of what happened so I really thought I was gonna be able to pull this off this uh, <laughs> so this was a, a hybrid cucumber I've been germinating that seed for like a week and a half and it was I I blame it on myself I let it go too long and what happened was it had like a crazy tail I broke the tail because I thought it would live like this, I thought I'd be able to develop through what it had, and unfortunately, as I put it in, it totally died. But I have another one right here that I was able to stuff in there. It looks to be still pretty intact and solid, so hopefully, I have some 
some luck with that one, but I'm really upset about that. Really, really upset. But the good news is, outdoors, I have like four tomato plants that actually germinated and are growing now that it's getting a little warmer and a little more humid outside, as well as we've been getting good rain. So they've been like literally growing, 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 growing. So I'm pretty stoked about that. And I got two watermelons outside that are just coming up out of the dirt in my bucket. So I'm pretty stoked about that. Sorry to uh, go off track about that, but I'm actually, I just put that in earlier today and I'm actually a little upset about that because I thought it was pretty promising. As you can see here, I hit this thing here. I'll probably finish this tomorrow. I'll be jumping into here. I'm gonna hit some of this kale up. This kale's looking absolutely phenomenal. I mean, just look at those, look at those little curlies. I mean, and it's delicious. I just, I just eat it how it is. Like when I'm in the grow tent, sometimes I come down here and check on things. I just munch on it. Look at this basil plant. Absolutely incredible. The leaves are enormous. I mean, oh yeah, check out these leaves. Have you seen a basil leaf that big? Are you kidding me? That's the size of a baby's head. I mean, look at this. I don't even know. I think this is a Genovese basil, but the leaves are enormous. I'm actually going to have to just eat, a, eat some pasta tomorrow and just throw some of this on there because uh, it just looks so delicious. A lot of this is kind of like new, but kind of old, but some of these lettuces are looking huge. I mean, oh man, that's going to be a good one for a burger maybe tomorrow on a beautiful Sunday. Cook up some burgers, no bread use a huge lettuce leaf phenomenal i love doing that and so basically this this needs to get cleared out i gotta start getting my new cycle going immediately but this is actually looking beautifully and abundant i mean check take a look at the differentiation of colors as well as the texture this this one is a little um harder these are much softer i mean if you're new to the channel and you're not familiar with the type of lettuces this is a butter lettuce very soft silky well, it's so soft that it actually just ripped in my hand that easily. This is a little more rugged. Um, it's got a nice crisp to it, and it's absolutely beautiful. I mean, if you could just look at how much lettuce you have here, and it really only took, you know, 25 to 30 days to, to grow this, maybe even less, depending on uh, the light, the capacity, and the type of nutrients that you're, that you're feeding your plants with. I think everything's looking pretty good. Guys, I want to make sure that you're, if you like this video, make sure to give me the thumbs up. Or if you're a hater, make sure to give me the thumbs down. And please do that in the first 10 seconds before even watching the video so we know that you're a complete hater. But anyway, for all you fans out there, make sure to hit the thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell for notifications. And make sure to share this video for anybody that's interested in potentially growing indoors. Uncertain times require for you to think fast and also make sure you have a supply of things like this growing in your house. There's no reason people should not be growing a little something in their homes. Actually, I just realized when I was, I took a step back and I actually realized what I'm considering of doing. Uh, this is totally going left from how I was about to end the video, but just recently, actually last week, I was in consideration of something. And I think this is gonna be sweet. I only wish that my basement was finished and I had just drywalled a specific room for my grow. There's a number of questions that I've had on my Facebook channel as well as directly through YouTube. And people are like, do I need a grow tent? You need a grow tent to keep pests out, like little, little, little spiders like that, cats, dogs, whatever it is, children. A grow tent is good. It's got this reflective in interior, as it's called mylar, and as the light bounces down here, it bounces off the walls, and it actually increases its, uh, the light overall capacity to the plants as, uh, you know, I think it, it does a good job. Also, it holds a good humidity during certain weather conditions, and it allows to, the plants to thrive a little more. But I was thinking about this. You see this shelving that I have, right? So check this out. I was thinking about this and I, I got really excited about it because it would be so sweet to have it like this, but I don't think it's practical down here because it's just, it's a little, it's dry down here, real dry and nice. But can you imagine if I had this setup, right? But instead of going this way, it went straight ahead. All right, look at this. This is a huge tent. 
Okay, I got two, two situations here, okay? As you can see. But what if I had a row starting like right here? This shelving went this way. This way, if I turn here, I have this shelving and this row. I have, I have two shelves here. And maybe I'll get the same setup right here on this side. Basically, I could take two of these setups, one here, one here. I could walk in the middle and I can control two of the same setups and just have more output of vegetables because now I have more room. I could probably do three of those or four rows of those and just crush out lettuce all day. I mean, I could feed my neighborhood on this stuff. And you never know when that might be necessary with, with the current situations going around the world and the thousands of Americans or people in the world standing in lines waiting for the governments to provide food for them because there's such scarcity of food and low and such high unemployment. God knows what's going on. Guys, all you need is a little bit of dirt, a couple of seeds. You don't even have to grow indoors. You live wherever, take a little bit of seed, throw it in some dirt, boom, get yourself a little lettuce garden going on. I'm done ranting. I hope you guys are, you know, this is going to be posted on Sunday morning. Today is Saturday night. I had, I'm had. i having a good weekend. I'm going to try to really enjoy my Sunday. You know, the weeks are hectic these days. I hope everybody's doing well, mentally well, uh, overall healthy, and just doing the best we can during this crazy time. They're calling the quarantine. Anyway, guys, this is Mike with Grown Door 365. I'm signing off. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Make sure to hit the links down below, guys, for everything that you need to grow like me, to be a master indoor gardener. Again, thank you so much, and I'll see you guys soon.